How does that look? We are live. Again. Do, 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 do. Nobody yet. Oh, here we go. A few more logging in. Got three people watching now. Hello. How are we doing, everyone? Welcome to Lighthouse Life. We started a little bit earlier. Uh, to have some fun and uh, chat a little bit longer. So hope you're all doing okay. Ooh, we got seven on at the moment. Fantastic. From what I can see, it's mainly adults who are watching at the moment. So this is a kids program, so uh, you need to behave. Right, good. Hope everyone is doing okay. How is it? How has quarantine been? What is something fun that you have done during this quarantine? Um, and if you've got kids watching with you, uh, can if you can comment um, from the kids, um, just who is around so I can interact with them as much as possible. That would be great. Ah, Mario kids are on their way. Fantastic. Come on, Pandora and Verity. Hurry up. But yes, it's been an interesting week, hasn't it? Uh, feels like a long time since we were all together last week. Who enjoyed last week? Did you enjoy last week? Um, what were your thoughts on last week? Let us know in the comments. Um, ah, okay, here we go. We've got Aunt Lucy's on, so that means Zach. How's Zach doing? Good afternoon, Zach. How are you? Ah, Caitlin, my wife, is here as well. Oh, she's actually just over there, so she's camera shy. So, hi, Zach, how are you? How's your day been? What have you been up to today? So, uh, my first question for us to discuss is, what is the best snack that you have had during the quarantine time? Over the last week, what is your favourite snack? Uh, can we have that? Uh-huh. My favourite snack, my, I'll tell them my favourite snack in a bit. We need a few more people to come online. Um, but we've got Sunny is on, I think. Hello, Sunny, how are you? Good to see you. You need to wiggle the uh, thing. Um, and we've got Isabella. Hi, Isabella, how are you doing? Good to see you. Sunny says Jaffa Cakes. Jaffa Cakes. I like Jaffa Cakes. All right, here's my question, though. Is a Jaffa cake a cake or a biscuit? Cake or a biscuit? See, it's served as a biscuit, but it says a Jaffa cake. Which one is it? Zach, your favorite snack is a, was a brownie. Does that mean it's not anymore? Did you have a bad experience or are they still your favorite? But brownies are good. Brownies are good fun. Um, okay, Lydia says ice lolly. Isabella likes a cake. That's good. Everybody likes cake. My Caitlin likes cake. My wife loves cake. That's her favourite snack for sure. Who else we got? Oh, uh, Rafi and Lyra. I think are on their way. Hello, guys. How are you? You doing all right? And we also have oh, Pandora and Verity say donuts, spelt the American way as well. Donuts. That's something I never understood the difference in spelling. But uh, donuts are good. I like a donut as well. Um, and we've got, oh, the Reese clan are with us. Hello there, Florence, Darcy, and Connie. How are you doing? How's your week been? What's your favorite snack? Because I bet you're having tons of snacks at the moment. So to tell you all, oh, hang on. Raffi, rice cakes. And Lyra, an apple. Well done, Lyra. One of the only healthy ones, I think. I don't know, are rice cakes healthy? I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll say it's healthy. We've got a very healthy uh, neighbours behind us in the Eccles household. Uh, my favourite snacks at the moment. Um, they're, you're all going to be quite surprised at this because my favourite is... Drumroll. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. My favourite snack is... I'm trying to balance it back up. <laughs> is 
Ice gems. Who remembers ice gems? <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> ice gems are my favourite. We're getting some laughing faces <laughs> after the camera just dropped. Oh, that's the amazing thing with the live video. They're all coming in. Great. Amazing. The, the Reese clan like, uh, what do they like? Everything every five minutes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, I bet they're a bit uh, crazy. Um, that's funny. Cool. Um, but ice gems are my favorite. Um, so, fantastic. Well, we got some snacks. Okay, so here's my next question. Is, as we're going to start now, who can remember the memory verse from last week? What is the memory verse from last week. Who can remember? If you can remember, please put it down in the comments. If you get the book of the Bible and um, that correctly, and the numbers, um, the chapter and the verse, well done. However, um, if you can write it all out, I will be really impressed. Fantastic. Um, my wife likes sour cream and onion Pringles. Yes, she does. There's about three tubs uh, in the household because she's been storing them disappointing so um right okay so memory verse time who can do it so i think there's a little bit of a lag at the moment on this so who can tell me what it was from last week in the comments who's going to be the first person to tell us we've got 16 people watching at the moment uh memory verse from last week and uh, anybody anybody nobody's commenting I hope you all enjoyed that when the, the phone came crashing down, by the way, as well, when I did the drum roll. That was fantastic. Um, but how are you doing, kids? Come on. What else have we got? What else do we have? Anyone got the memory verse? Anybody? Anybody got the memory verse? Do you remember it? First Corinthians. First Corinthians. No one can remember. Wow. Oh, thanks, Jim. Um, fair enough. Well, it's 1 Corinthians 12, 12. And for you to find that out, you're going to have to look it up yourself and make sure you memorize it. So come on, we've got to memorize it. You're all at home. So make sure we memorize this week's verse. And who can tell me their score from sock basketball? Well done, Sonny. He got it right. Corinthians. There we go. High five. Bang. Well done, Sonny. Corinthians, I'll give you that. Um, but what was your score in sock basketball then? Anybody have that? I had lots of pictures sent to me uh, regarding the sock basketball. And I'd like to know what your score was in the sock basketball if you played. Uh, mine was eight. Did you manage to beat eight? Let's see. Did you manage to beat eight? Ooh, Gemma says eight. Fantastic. Was that Lyra? Or Lyra got eight. Fine. And we got Murdo on the line. Hi, Murdo. Good to see you. Emma says, top fan Emma says 100. And that's a lie, because if you've got 100 pairs of socks, you've got way too many. Um, and that's a lot of washing, actually. Is he got six? Uh, nine out of ten for Murdo. He beat me. We got a 10 from Verity or Pandora. Fantastic. Well done, girls. What else? Who else? Caitlin did it and she got a zero. <laughs> no, she didn't actually. She hasn't done it. So we've actually been doing workouts every single day. Fantastic. All right. And my final question is. Sonny got two. I did see that video, Sonny. Well done, mate. You had a box though instead of a laundry basket. Um, and Rafi got two as well. Well done. All good. Okay. What is your favorite movie? Who has been watching any movies recently? Um, I bought Disney Plus this week. I bought Disney Plus. So I have been watching all things Marvel and I've been watching all things um, Disney. Um, I'm going to watch A Bug's Life tonight, I think. But um, I'm quite excited for that, actually, going back. Um, but Disney Plus is amazing. What's your favourite movie, kids, that you've been watching at the moment? Comment below. Get your parents to comment below for me. Mario, zombies, that's bad. Don't want to watch those. 
Come on, what else have you got? Disney Plus is out. I find it interesting as well that Disney Plus decided to come out just as we're all quarantined. So um, that's a bit fortunate. Uh, Zach's been watching Toy Story. Fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed that. Lara and Raffi have been watching Trolls. Good. And Zach saw Bugs Life today. That's a wicked movie. Right, I'm, I'm excited. That's a classic. Good. Fantastic. Spy Next Door from Murdo. Good. Glad you've enjoyed that. Awesome. Well, we will start now with our story and get going. But, oh, what's this? We've got Isabella's favourite is Frozen 1 and 2. Isabella's favourite, Frozen 1 and 2. Oh, that's the, let it go, let it go. It's the, oh, dear, I'm not going to do that for you all. Um, fantastic. Uh, Matilda, actually, we've got some more. Um, and we got Sunny has said Bugs Life is Brill. Uh, Christopher Robin from Hayley. And Gemma said, Raffi, not entirely happy that Lighthouse Club has interviewed his viewing. Oh, well, this is better than whatever you're watching, Raffi. Right. Fantastic. Here we go. So we're going to read our story. And our story today is called All in the Family. So um, I don't know about you, but over the last week with us all being stuck in our houses... Do you find that your brothers and sisters or mums and dads are um, a little bit annoying? Or maybe you're getting a bit frustrated with them. Maybe your brother or your sister has taken something, a toy that you had, or mum's told you to do something when you didn't want to do it. But today's story is really important because it talks about how we're all part of a family. So the memory verse for this week is Ephesians 4 verse 32, and it says... Be kind and loving to each other. Forgive each other just as God forgave you in Christ. He hit me. She took my stuff. I had it first. Do you have any brothers or sisters? And if you do, have they ever said anything like that to you? Or have you said that? That's what people call sibling rivalry. And it's a fancy way to describe not getting along with your brothers and sisters. But people aren't the only ones with this problem. Animals have this problem as well. There's an animal called a naked mole rat. And they have hundreds of siblings. And they're all from the same mother. And the older naked mole rats aren't shy about forcing the younger ones to move out of their way in their tunnels. And then there's the cattle egret, which is a baby bird. And these actually have sibling rivalry, which is so bad that it's actually deadly. And that when one chick gets stronger than the other, it actually kills its sibling and throws it out of the nest whilst the parents are out hunting for food. Yikes! Fortunately, though, most animal siblings get along much better than that. For example... Older elephant children babysit their younger ones. Maybe you have a sibling that's older than you that has been looking after you in the last week whilst mum and dad have been busy. Otter pups spend almost all their time together and will even hold hands in the water so they don't float apart. And lion sisters stay together for life in a group called a pride. But here's the thing. When you live with someone all the time, like a brother or a sister, and especially now, it's easy for us to get on each other's nerves. You might even get on their nerves. This is where you're all looking at each other and pointing fingers now. But the next thing you know, you're arguing, fussing, or fighting. And it's important for us to ask God to help you love your family. That's not just your siblings, because some of you might not have siblings. But it might be mum, might be dad, whoever's looking after you. But you could be arguing, fussing and fighting. And we have to ask God to help us love our family, to be kind and to be patient and to forgive each other when you make mistakes. After all, that's what God does for you. So we've got to remember that at this time, this is very strange. We were having to stay in the house all the time. And I'm sure mum and dad or whoever's looking after you has had to explain why we have to do this but it can get frustrating and we can get bored um so it's important 
that we love each other and be kind to one another. And that's what it is. We're all part of this family together. So I'm just going to pray real quick over the story and then we'll get into our games um, and go from there. It says, Lord, you know that sometimes it's hard for me to get along with my family, especially my brothers and sisters. Help me to be kind, especially when I don't really want to be. Okay, it's important for us to all be kind. And we're going to wind each other up a little bit over the next few weeks as we're stuck like this. But it's okay. We need to love and care for each other. Now, who likes our songs? Who's missed doing our songs? If you've missed doing the songs, put your hands up. You missed doing the songs? Well, last week... I sang a little bit, unfortunately, of the song, Our God is a Great Big God. And what we're going to do, and whilst we were, I was washing my hands, but what we're going to do now is we're all going to stand up together and uh, we are going to warm up because it is time for us to sing a song together. So, Emma's got it, I'm going to do it, uh, the action. So I need everyone to stand up. Oh, I can't work the camera at the moment. There we go, hang on a second. All right, okay, we're gonna warm up. Okay, so everybody stand up. Make sure you're standing up. And we start with the heads, we're gonna stand left to right. Mums and dads are gonna get involved as well, so stand up in your living room. Move your head left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And roll your shoulders, really big. And roll them back tall, really good. And put your arms out like this. You can carry it if you want. Okay, hands on your hips, and rotate them, and touch your toes. Line up. I know I'm, I'm like that Joe guy who's doing the YouTube videos. And down. Good. Who is ready to sing and dance? So, I can't hear you singing, but we've got a song of Our God is a Great Big God, and we are going to all do it together. So make sure you find the space. Make sure you don't hit your siblings or your mum and dad uh, decide as you dance. And I want you to sing so loud that I can hear it here in the church. Here we go. Here we go. Our God is a great big Come on, keep going. Everyone up, let's 
job, everybody. We hope you enjoyed that. But now, we've had our song, but who wants to have some games? Who's excited for some games? So, we are going to start with my first game. Who likes, we were talking about snacks earlier. Who likes biscuits? Do you like biscuits? Well, I have the greatest biscuit of all time. An Oreo double stuffed. This is not the cheap mm. stuff, guys. This is the good stuff. <laughs> now, your first game is simple. First, because we've got two. All you've got to do is you've got to put it on your head, like this. And without touching your hands, touching it with your hands, so you've got to move your face, make weird faces, and make it come down your face and into your mouth. Here we go. Who thinks I can do it? Come on, move. Ah. Oh no! Oh I'm going to go back to it again. Here we go. Ah, it's over my eye. Here we go. Can I get it? Have I got a big enough mouth? Yes. Ah! Just like this one, put it on your head. I want to see pictures, mums and dads, of not just the parent, they're not just the kids. I want to see all your parents doing it, especially you, Emma Reese. You need to do this, and Gemma, Lucy, Sarah, Mario, you as well. Every single one of you need to get an Oreo and you can play that game tonight. So it's nice, a bit of fun. But I have another game for you. Oh, good Oreo. <laughs> I know that things can get a bit boring in the house. So I have set up for you, quite simply, a treasure hunt for you to do at home. Now, this will be on Facebook later, so mum and dad can, uh, or whoever's looking after you, can print this off. I'm still eating Oreo at the moment. Um, can print this off. And I've got 10 items here on this treasure hunt that you can do at home and that you need to go and find this week. Now you can do it straight after this, um, or if you can't do it straight away, you can do this this week. And I want more pictures sent. Parents, send me your pictures of the kids doing the treasure hunt, Lighthouse Live treasure hunt here for us, okay? So, in order to do this though, we have actually are gonna do a, ooh, sorry, <laughs> a treasure hunt right here together. So I'm going to take the camera back from my lovely assistant. Hang on. Right, here we go. So the first one on here is toilet roll. Now, did any of you see the toilet roll somewhere in the room? I'm going to show you around. If you can spot the toilet roll, let me know. Because toilet roll is in short supply right now. And I really need to make sure I need it. So, and you need to as well. So we're, ha ha, what is this over here? Ah, Friday the Bear has taken some toilet roll. This stuff is very special. It's in high demand. So um, here it is, that's one. All right, we've got the toilet roll, fantastic. Next is a shoelace, a shoelace. Now you cannot, just so you know, you cannot have a shoe. You have to have a lace, okay? You can't just take a shoe. No, you gotta take the lace out. So, over, ah, what is this over here? Here we go. As you can see right here, I have a shoe, but I've taken the lace out and I've got the lace. Fantastic. All right, next thing is, what is the next thing on our list? Um, I don't know. We're gonna go for, hmm, which one are we gonna go for? I think we should go for the sock. We'll look for the sock, shall we? Okay, where is the sock? Can anybody tell me where the sock is? Can you see the sock in here? It's somewhere in here, I think. But if you can spot the sock, hang on, what's that over there? What is that? Aha, here it is, right next to, Lewis's name, the sock. Ugh. No, oh, this is one of Caitlin's socks. Ugh. This is gross. All right, good. Number three, a sock. We found that. 
Oh, I haven't put my lace, the lace back in. Here we go. Right, after that, we have to find, what else is on here? If we have a look, keep looking. We've done the toilet roll. We have found the shoelace. We've got the sock. Um, favorite toy. My favorite toy is, um, it is a, a ball. Can you see a ball anywhere in here? Can anybody find a ball anywhere? Can you see a ball anywhere? Anybody? Hang on a minute. Who's this? <sighs> Luke's taken my ball. He's taken my favorite ball. Luke. Awful. So you have to get your favorite toy. Okay. And then we're, there it is. So there's my ball in, in there. So I've got them all in there. And I put Luke up because he's been naughty and he's taken my stuff. Uh, right, what else have we got? A book. Where can we find a book with over 250 pages? Has that, oh, I've got Oreo in my eye. Ugh. Right, a book. Where's the book? Can anybody find the book? Let's have a look. Come on, where's a book? I know there's lots of books, but I'm looking for a specific book. Hang on, what's in this cupboard? Aha! Here you go. Here's a book with over 20, 250 pages. Harry Potter right here. Let's have a look how many pages. There's 755. There you go. 755. That is my book. Good. Fantastic. So we've got the book. So I'll put the book back in the box. I'm tidying up as I do this as well. That's great. Right. Anybody spot... My teddy bear. Not Friday, but my teddy bear. Anybody seen him? Anybody seen my teddy bear? It's my favourite football team teddy bear, and I have not been able to find him anywhere. Can anybody see? Anybody? Anybody? Hang on a minute. There it is. Aha! We found him, my bear! Ah, oh, his name is um, Larry. Larry the Bear, here he is. Fantastic, sorry, I was filming you. <laughs> Larry the Bear, we got him, we've got Larry the Bear, so that's my teddy bear. Now, we also need something from school. You need to find something from school. So, what I have here is an old notebook, but this could be anything from school. It could be your school jumper, it could be... Um, it could be a bag, it could be something you've made. I've just got a notebook, but you can pick anything that you want. Fantastic. Now, what else is on here that we haven't found yet? I can't find, right, the green pen. If you can find the green pen, I will be very impressed, okay? I can't find it anywhere. I've misplaced it, and it's somewhere in this room and Caitlin will be mad at me because that's her favorite color and it's her favorite pen. So if you spot the green pen, okay, then that'll be great because then I won't get in trouble. Well, we had a few comments under the table. Well done to Isabella who got that. Murdo is doing really, really well. He seems to have everything. Uh, Sunny managed to get the toilet roll because Friday stole it, cheeky thing. Um, and I'm not supplying the Oreos, Emma, because uh, that would be very expensive and um, things are hard. So times are hard. Right. What else have we got? Something Welsh on our Lighthouse Life Treasure Hunt. I'm going to go in a different room. I'm going to go look in the kitchen because I was hearing some funny noises coming from the kitchen. And I was in the kitchen, right? And I'm not being funny, I was in the kitchen, and I was trying to find uh, the, I was going to make a cup of tea, but I could hear like a sheep barring. Now, I don't know where it's from, but I hear the noises in here, but I, hang on, what's that? This is, there we go. We found it. We've got it. The little Welsh sheep. That's it. Full of money. Saving up for my holidays. This is what was making the noise. So you need to have something Welsh. Good. Murdo's already on it. Um, I still can't find this blinking pen, though. I can't see it anywhere. And finally, there's also a bobble hat. 
Can you spot the bobble hat anywhere in here? Anywhere? Where's the bobble hat? Anybody got it? Anybody got this? No? <gasps> Friday again. He stole my hat. Oh, dear, dear. Friday. Um, gosh, right. Hang on. There we go. Right, I got my bobble hat. So, I think I've got everything. I'm going to go and have a look. Over here, I've got... Here we go. Let's have a count of everything. Put my bobble hat back. Right, bobble hat, one. You can tick that off. Um, right, I'm going to tick this off with this pen over here in my hand. Okay, bobble hat, good, well done. What else we got? Oh, book. Number two. Notebook from school. Number three. My favorite toy. Number four. My teddy bear. Number five. There he is, Larry the teddy bear. A shoelace. Here it is, my shoelace. There's one there. The toilet roll. We got that. Good. The well sheep. There it is, full of money. Got that one. A sock. Got that one. Right. Fanta. Where's... Where is the green pen? I can't find... This green pen, anywhere. I just, hang on a second. What did you say? Oh, this is a green pen. Ah, oh, well done. You all saw it. Well done. The green pen was back here on my ear. So well done for those of you that got that. I see that Rafi and Lyra had that. Um, who else had it? Uh, Murdo had it. Um, I think Zach got it. Did Isabella get that as well? Well done. Fantastic, everybody. Wow. Well, that was good fun, wasn't it? So that will be on Facebook as soon as this is done. And you will be able to print that off and go on your own one at home. So well done, all of you, on that. And well done if you spotted anything as we were doing it. So I think that's it for now. Um, so a lefty like Florence and Connie. Good job, Team Lefties. Any other lefties over there? High fives, high fives. But well done. I hope you've all enjoyed. Um, make sure this week um, we are praying for our families and everyone is kept safe. I know, I know uh, things might be a little bit scary and I know it's not nice not having lighthouse and school and other things. But um, let's just make sure that this week we are praying for our families and let's look after each other. Let's be patient and let's love one another and let's be kind. So thank you all for tuning in uh, today. Um, hope you enjoy that. That will be on Facebook, parents. You'll be able to print it off. Uh, send more uh, photos uh, of what you've been doing in the week. It really encourages me and I hope you guys are enjoying this. Kids, we miss you. Uh, we care about you so much and uh, cannot wait to see you soon. Okay, so you have a great week um, and take care. Uh, God bless everyone. Uh, we love you all and we'll see you soon. Bye everyone. I'm going to wait until I get a few byes as they come through. Um, Pandora is a lefty as well. But I hope you've had fun today, guys. Um, uh, make sure you share this with your friends as well. Let your friends in school, mums and dads, let them know what we're doing um, with this. And I hope this can be something uh, that the kids can enjoy um, over the next few weeks and look forward to. And uh, take care, everyone. God bless. Bye-bye.